each and every department will know how much they are supposed to go with it so it's a regular checkup for the department so that they'll get to know what they are up to we need to actually see what is the estimated revenues what exactly is your expenses and what can be the future so that we can take decisions this is called budgetary control total cost is divided into two types of cost that is here we have as total variable cost and total flexible cost Hello everybody, a warm welcome to One and All. I'm Abhilash Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Welcome to all the students. Now we are in the next chapter, that is the budgetary control which comes in the Unit 5. The first session, I'll be explaining you about the budgetary control. What exactly budgetary control is? You need to understand that the budgetary control is the process. What exactly it is? It is a process. And what type of process it is? If you need to understand, then you are supposed to know what exactly is the meaning of budget. Now, it's a process by which budgets are. Now, what exactly budget is? Now, budget means it is all the estimate estimation budget is all what estimation estimation of revenues and expenses so that is what the budget is all about and budgetary control is a process by which budgets are prepared that means what exactly the revenue of the company is what is the expenses each and everything is taken into consideration and it is all estimated for the future period that's why it is all what it is all estimated why because it is only focuses on the future and are compared with the actual performance what we really want to have and then what are we people doing that is the actual and the standards are being compared so the comparison of budgeted figures when we go with the comparison of the budget figures we'll get to know that whether the company is making profit or we are not making the profit which we have estimated so you will get a regular checkup whether you people are moving in a right directions or you have actually deviated your goals or your work now when it comes here you need to understand budget is only giving the management a proper guideline so that the management can take quick decisions and rectify their mistakes so what it helps so it helps the management to find out variance and take corrective actions without any delay that is the reason we are supposed to have budgetary control that is we need to actually see what is the estimated revenues what exactly is your expenses and what can be the future so that we can take decisions this is called budgetary control let's see the objectives of budgetary control what are the objectives of budgetary control the first objective itself is it is an objective oriented that means what it defines the objectives of the enterprises so it is like goal oriented it is objective oriented second one is providing plans for achieving the objectives so defined so whatever you have defined it will make sure that it will fulfill those objectives the next one we have is coordinating the activities of various departments so whatever the other departments are doing each and every department will coordinate with the budgetary control so that the other departments will get to know what the other departments are able to do it or they cannot do it so there is a proper coordination within the departments through the budgetary control and next one we have is operating various departments and cost center economically and efficiently see this is the main reason we are supposed to have this budgetary control that is each and every department will know how much they are supposed to go with it so it's a regular checkup for the department so that they'll get to know what they are up to the next objectives if we go with it that is increasing the profitability see here any company whichever feels that they need to adapt management accounting though they know that profitability is more if they adapt management accounting but still they can't 
afford management accounting. The reason here is management accounting is very costly because you should have expertise people. The reason here is the more you bring expertise in your company, you are supposed to give more money to them. That's the reason many of the companies, they don't uh, go with management accounting. But let me tell you here students, once if you are specialized with management accounting, company will definitely vouch for you in the sense they really need you because management accounting is something which is now the 21st century happening subject. Next one is what exactly the other budgetary control objectives are. We have centralizing the control system. Then we have correcting variances from set standard. And the last one is fixing the responsibility of various individuals in the enterprises. That means each and every person are being used in management accounting and that one budgetary control. That means optimum utilization of everybody. And the next topic we have is the classification of budget. When we understand the word classification, let me tell you here, we have a lot of classification of budget, but according to your syllabus, we only deal with three of the budget that is flexible budget, sales budget, and cash budget. Students, you need to understand that this chapter weightage is 30 marks. That means here, in this chapter, you will be getting two problematic questions. One is in the 15 marks uh, part A and another is in the 10 marks part B. One more is that it is based on the theoretical aspect which you will be getting a question like what are the objectives of budgetary control or the differences between uh, flexible budget and fixed budget. So I will be giving you those uh, information also but let me concentrate more on flexible budget and cash budget because you will be getting a question from flexible budget that is for 15 marks if you don't get flexible budget for 15 marks you will get cash budget for 15 marks that means there is always an alternative for this but here sales budget is something which is for 10 marks so you may get one question here or you may get this question but Sales budget is a short question of 10 marks. That means what? You'll be getting here 25 marks. Plus, you have a 5 mark question. 5 marks question. That is a theory based question. This is the problem based question. And the total from this chapter, you'll be able to score 30 marks if you concentrate properly. So let's start with the first classification of budget that is called flexible budget when we go with flexible budget here please get this straight to your head that is there is a performer but i'll not tell you the performer right now because i'll tell you how to remember those performer these are all called the abilas chandra tricks so that you people can remember it properly I'll give you this formula here students and I want you people to share this video because I want each and every individual to actually get 15 on 15 in flexible budget if they get any question with respect to flexible budgeting. The formula is total cost plus profit is equal to selling price. What is it? Total cost plus profit is equal to selling price. Now we know this formula from our sixth standard itself that is cost plus profit is equal to selling price. Now this total cost is always divided. That is what exactly total cost is. That means to manufacture something, what were the costs which was incurred? That is called total cost. Now this total cost is divided into two types of cost. That is here we have as total variable cost and total flexible cost. I'll repeat, this is called total variable cost and this is total fixed cost. Now variable cost is a cost which always varies. That means there is always a fluctuation. Volatility will always be there. Whatever happens, this cost will change. But there is one more that is called total fixed cost where the cost will never change. It is always fixed. Whatever happens, it is fixed. Now in total variable cost, there are two types of total variable cost that is here 100% 100% 100 
hundred percent variable cost. Hundred percent variable cost and one more is that that is your semi variable cost what is it semi variable cost see the word itself says semi in the sense partially that is what semi variable cost is all here the same way here also total fixed cost is divided into two the same way here hundred percent variable cost here also we have something called hundred percent fixed cost when we have 100% fixed cost, that means whatever happens, it will never change. The same way we have something called semi-fixed cost. Now the word itself says, right, here also semi, here also semi. That means what? Partially it is fixed cost, partially it is variable cost. The agenda is very simple here. What exactly is semi-variable and semi-fixed? That means that one particular way where both if you add, you will get 100%. That means here, when I say semi-fixed cost means they do have something called variable qualities. When I say semi-variable cost, they do have qualities of fixed. So it is partially. So we have what? Semi-variable cost, semi-fixed cost. I'll give you an example. Say factory overheads is there. Now factory overheads and they have only given that 60% fixed cost. That means the remaining 40% will be what? variable cost that is semi variable cost say example here you have 20 percent semi fixed cost means the same item you are supposed to calculate it for how much 80 percent semi variable because both if we add it should be how much 100 percent so hope you people are able to understand this now again if the entry says selling overheads 85 percent semi variable so 85 percent semi variable means what is the remaining here 15 percent will be what semi fixed so this is what the performa is all about now i've given you this formula and how to actually go with it the performa of flexible budget is always we start with the 100 percent variable cost so this is our first one this is our first one denote that as a now variable cost plus semi variable cost what is it variable cost plus semi variable cost if we go we'll get something called tvc total variable cost and denote that as capital a this is the first one second one is again you are supposed to go here 100 percent fixed cost plus semi fixed cost you are supposed to add this both if you add you get total fixed cost this is b now you need to go with tvc plus tfc both if you add a plus b you get something called this one that denote has c now cost plus profit is equal to selling price this is what our flexible budget performa is all about now i'll show you the performa what exactly the performa looks like for the flexible budget the first one here is we have the first column where we will be writing the particulars the next one we have is the capacity and that is output then we have per unit column the amount column the more they are asking us the questions we are supposed to add the columns the adding column in the sense again we are supposed to go with capacity and output again here we are supposed to write here per unit and then amount so whatever the question is we need to understand the question the particular remains the same. So I'll tell you how to write the flexible budget performance. The first one, according to our formula, what is that we should do is we need to always write the variable cost first. Variable cost. Now per unit you are supposed to write. Then you are supposed to go with amount calculated. That is per unit multiplied with the output. What exactly the output is and then write the amount. Later after that what you are supposed to do is plus semi variable cost whatever is a semi variable cost again you will be writing the per unit here and then the amount here you need to total it when you go with the total calculation now what exactly you got is total variable cost denote that has a you are supposed to denote that has a and then write the answer add both the side and you will get here next one is we have one more that is again everywhere here students we have addition there is nothing called subtraction now we are supposed to go with fixed cost 
Now you will be writing here fixed cost per unit and the amount. Then plus you have semi fixed cost. Then we have semi fixed cost. Now the semi fixed cost again you are supposed to add. Now what exactly we got is we have got total fixed cost denote that has B. Now when we denote that as B what exactly it is? This is the semi fixed cost and the fixed cost addition that is called total fixed cost. After that our performa is not complete here students because we need to get the profit also. That means you need to add A plus B. When you add A plus B, A plus B you get something called total cost. Now this is our total cost. Now what exactly you have done? You have uh, done an addition of A and B. Here also you have done an addition of A and B. So whatever the addition of A plus B that is what the total cost you have written. Now total cost plus profit. Now profit here you will write and if you add both here, if you add these two here, now you get something called the selling price per unit and the total sales that is in the amount. So this is what the performa of sales budget is. So hope you people have understood here. The first one, what is that we should do is we need to first separate what is variable cost, what is semi-variable cost, we need to add it. Then we are supposed to know about the fixed cost and the semi-fixed cost. Both if we add, we get total fixed cost. Then both the A and B, that means total variable cost and total fixed cost, we are supposed to add, we get something called total cost. Add profit, we get sales. This is the performa of flexible budget. In the next session, I'll be discussing and we will be solving the question paper problem itself. So till then, stay tuned and thank you so much. I'll see you when I see you.